I wonder if men are under pressure to look good. Uh, an unusual football league launched in Glasgow yesterday. You can only enter it if your BMI, your body max index, body mass index, is over 30. So basically, if you are obese, the six-a-side Man v Fat League will run for 14 weeks. And I dusted down my boots for a kickabout with some of the blokes involved. I'm uh, Stephen Morrison, the Man v Fat football Glasgow coach. I'm Derek Chalmers. I've just signed up for Man v Fat in the last month. And I'm Alan Devlin. I've also just signed up for Man v Fat in the last month. Right, you don't look that fat. How, how often have you... When was the last time you all played football? Uh, I was uh, tried to go back to it last month, but I've previously had a, a three-year spell out due to a knee injury. Um, it's about ten years. I've not, kinda, <laughs> not kicked a ball in anger, not kicked a person in anger. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of very much getting back to the kind of beginnings again for me, but... Do you keep fit at the moment or are you worried about your weight? Let's be honest. Uh, for me personally, I'm worried about my weight. Um, I've got uh, my first child coming in April uh, and this is a big sort of push for me to lose the weight. Uh, I want to be a dad that can, can go to the park, can play football, can do things without feeling unfit and overweight. So this is this is a big factor for me getting into this and losing weight. Yeah, along the same lines, um, I'm, I've been 20 odd stone for the last few years. I've got three young kids. Um, I suppose it's more of the sense. I want to see them grow up, you know, um, try and get the best out of my life, so get the best and see kids see the best in that as well. What's the idea behind it? You're the coach. The idea is to give men a supportive environment, a fun environment, where they can come together and take part in an activity that most men love. Uh, watch them losing weight, getting fit, being social and having fun. Have you lost weight? Uh, at the moment, I'm standing at 110 pounds lost. You've lost 110 pounds? Yeah. That is what eight stone ish. Yeah. You've lost eight stone of weight. Yeah. What to what weight were you? I was twi- I was three hundred and fifty four pounds, twenty five stone four, but my my frame of five foot eight and I, nothing. Yeah, I mean I I think we all blokes nowadays we all have these the perfect images on Men's Health magazine that everyone's supposed to have the abs, you know the guns and I don't have it. I'm fifty nine years old. I don't have it. Used to be sporty, but you try and stay healthy. You try and stay healthy. What do you do? I. Uh, commute to work on my bike, mm. uh, I run, I walk everywhere, uh, I, I am a triathlete and I try every sport there is, uh, simply because at 354 pounds I didn't do anything, so now that I'm a lot lighter, I try everything. Tell me about, you two are going to try and play football then, is it, is it safe to be 18, 20 stone and then jump on a football pitch, but you, you do it in a different way, is that right? <clears throat> I think it's a case of knowing your limits, um, I mean, I'm the first time that I'm not 17, 18 years old anymore. Um, I'm pushing 40. Um, so the main thing is to get out there and have fun. Um, but yeah, it's just take it easy, just go out, enjoy yourself, and the weight loss is going to come from that. Um, there's always a risk of injury, but like I said, if you know not taking a run about daft and just go mental, then yeah, you just, I think it all kind of come in from there. How does it work? Because football's a bit different from rugby, isn't it? Your, your rivalry is a bit. What's the word? Runs a bit deeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, at the end of the day, everyone's there for the same reason. Um, we're there to lose weight and play football, a sport that we enjoy. Uh, we've got a group chat going and everybody's very supportive. So it's got to be one of these games. If you make a bad pass, you're not going to get everybody on your back. Mistakes have got to be made, but everybody's there supporting. We're there for the one reason. So it's got to be an enjoyable environment to play and lose weight. Um, and uh, I think everybody's just looking forward to getting started now. People always ask me what I miss most about rugby, and the thing I miss the most is the friendships. Yeah. Part part of it's being part of a bunch of blokes, isn't it? Yeah. You can talk to. Yeah. Well, definitely. Um, I've done all my coaching badges, so I've done youth teams and Hamilton amateur teams. Uh, I've also was employed to Hamilton Aki's coaching for a while, and you always get a great bond. Whereas with youths through the amateurs or the guys, and it's that is something I've missed since I've been injured. So getting back to this and getting a bit of banter and a good laugh with the guys, it's got to be it's got to be good fun. What do you hope from it? Um, at its base level, lose weight. I mean, yeah, there's always the like man says here, you're going to make friends, you're going to kind of like build up kind of like, yeah, kind of like social circle and that. But at the end of the day, it is it's to get myself fit to lose weight and just sort of go there and have a have a good time. How does it actually work? The principle is, is the men play football and they play in a league and they get points for winning games. However, they also get points for team losing weight. So Good. what they do in the kitchen is always as important as what they do on the actual pitch. 
Uh, we do that as a collective. So we've got Facebook groups, we've got a Man V Fat forum, uh, we've got WhatsApp groups, and the football game is 24 hours, seven days a week, as in we are talking to them, supporting them, they're supporting each other. Already we've got a group of 60 men in a WhatsApp group who are all supporting each other, helping each other, uh, and making friends online before we even meet. How long does the project last for? Then? It's a 40 week project. Uh, there's 14 games, uh, and over that period, uh, we found that 95% of our players have lost 5% of uh, their body fat. Uh, well, so far in the UK, uh, our players have shed £160,000 of fat. Where's it all gone? Yep. <laughs> 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 so, so this is this is the first league in Scotland. We're hoping to launch more. Uh, where's it? Where's it happening? It's happening at Glasgow Green Football Centre. Right. So right in the city centre. Uh, so ho hopefully we'll get, get some family and friends along to get support the guys, and we'll see some great transformations over the next fourteen weeks. Because I mean, there's this thing about men not talking to each other, which is I don't know. The older I get, the more I think it's not actually true. I think men now do talk the way women are supposed to have talked mm -hmm. all the time, and men are quite open now. But well, I'm worried about my shape. I'm worried about my head. It's it's yeah. much more of a modern thing that blokes communicate and come together and do these things. No, de definitely. Like you know, it's not as much of a, a stigma. I'm certainly not embarrassed to say I've signed up for this program. I um, I, don't, I don't see why there should be any embarrassment. People just want to actually lose weight. And why not do it? Uh, carrying out a sport that you enjoy playing. Yeah, uh, pretty much the same. Um, the kind of. The facade that people sometimes put on about kind of they're a hard man, they don't have to talk about kind of their feelings or how they look and stuff like that. That's that, that's old hat. That's gone. Um, part of it, these groups that we've got set up are allowing us all to talk. Yeah, there's the banter, there's a bit of carry on, but we are all there supporting each other. We can openly say, listen, I'm having a bad day. I'm not eating great. I'm I'm feeling as if I've put on like kind of another three or four instead of losing it. And you're there, you're geeing each other up. It's that's going to be a big help. Do you, do you find as men there is pressure now to look like David Gandhi, the underpant model? Women have always had that pressure, haven't they? They've, they've always been exposed to perfection. And it's only recently men have been exposed to, well, actually, you're supposed to look like the perfect bloke. And none of us, none of us do, really. <clears throat> no, at the end of the day, <laughs> to get that perfection takes a lot of training, a lot of time. Every guy here works. I, me personally, I work night shift in the railway. Unsociable hours, I'm getting up. I've got, I've got a sort of tired lifestyle. I've not got the time to go get six packs, and it's not what I'm looking for out of this. I'm just looking to get a healthy weight, lose weight. I don't want to be chiselled. You know, I'll be quite happy to keep my bit of something on me, but I don't, um, no, that perspective of men, that's just it's fantasy, in my opinion. I think it's all about feeling comfortable in yourself. Um, yeah, you've got these guys that are six foot, six foot two, chiselled. Yeah, I'm six foot two. I know I'll never be chiselled, but as long as I feel happy and how I look at the end of it, that's that's the main thing. That's, there's no point looking for stereotypes or what people, what society thinks you should look like. It's what you feel that you should look like at the end of the day. That's last word to use the coach. It, it, it sounds to me as though it's a brilliant thing that you're helping blokes who love football to use the thing they love to make them feel happier and a bit more. Confidence the wrong word, but we all think about weight, don't we? That's the truth. Everybody listening to this realises that everybody at some stage goes past the mirror and goes, I could lose a bit of weight unless you're underweight. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, a lot of men uh, will live in denial and believe that they're OK and tell, tell others that they're OK. In actual fact, they look in the mirror and they're hating themselves. This is an opportunity for men to take part in football, a game they love, to lose weight, to change their lives. And more importantly, by getting active and playing football, they'll, they'll add years to their lives and hopefully add some life to their years as well. Well, that was Stephen Morrison, uh, Derek Chalmers and Alan Devlin from the Fat Football League. And it was interesting that they, I think everyone does walk by a mirror sometimes and go, do you know, I could lose some weight. I wonder if, as a bloke, if you're listening, do you feel under pressure to lose weight? 80295 is the text. Let's talk to Danny Bow 